Hello and welcome back to Cross Souls. Greetings one and all. We are... I guess I'm going to go through that fog gate. Well, you can have a look down there. That's not going to cause us to slip and slide, is it? No. No. I'd say, Ooh, there's two yeah, of them. I'd say kill the dudes with the yellow eyes. Actually, yeah, kill them both. Well, they're leaving me alone, so... Well, the, the, kill the guy with the bag, because he's obviously got um, uh, things in there yeah. that you can have. Right. Oh, there's another item there. It's such a weird, washed out, bleak, but kind of beautiful colour scheme. Yeah, yeah. The whole area is just um, very muted tones. But I think, are we... Right, yeah, because I think there should be a lift system. The the uh, the wheels with the, the pulleys. Oh, there we go. There we are. Turn the handle. And what has that done? Ah, oh, there we Is go. That Let's what see. Gets the lift going. That's yeah. I think there's two of them in this entire area. Right. But um, I'd say go back and explore because this is probably going to take us back to uh, the starting area. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So. So yeah, if we go back and go. But we've that, opened up the shortcut, so we have. That's what I wanted. Because ultimately, I probably will die. Have faith in yourself. See, those guys aren't going to help uh, hurt you, rather. There's two of them with bags, though. Yeah. Might be worth stealing their shit. Sorry. We just want all your things. There's those two. Sorted. Glorious. That was actually... Whoa, wow. Hello. That's a tasty little haul. Isn't it? That was totally worth doing. It was. And now we have enough stuff to level up several weapons should we so choose fantastic enter the colorless deep fog they didn't they lost the trick there they didn't put that did they they did not whoa <laughs> little sneaky sneaky attack absolutely cheeky mother whoa and he jumps as well are you are two in him or are you just uh yeah One more should get it. No, no, two more. I think. There yeah, we go. There's one more. Right, yeah, there's one more dude around the corner. But is he attacking? Not. No, he's just backing away. It's like shit. My brother's dead. Um, help. Give me the backstab. Oh no. Whoops. There we are. Thank hey, you very much. This. Nice one. Um, okay, there's bellows. Can we interact with those? We can jump on them. And make the fire hotter. But we can't jump. Then well, there is an item there, though. There. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at him toiling away. This is a great place to come if you want items to uh, yeah, level to, up your weapon. Yeah, that's it. I wonder if the ones with the... Sa yeah, they'll respawn, won't they? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Which means that, yeah, you can grind this area for, for items. I'm not going to trust that wooden plank. Yep. Ow. Has that just dropped us back down to... Yeah, we're back to that bit again. Where all the fiery lizards were. Yeah. So, follow it round. You're going the right way anyways. No, you can go back to the beginning and get on the lift. Could do, but it'd be quicker just going the way you came. Would it? Yeah. He says continuous. Yeah, see, look, because otherwise you're going to have to go through all of this again. Oh, yeah. Go back. Yeah. No, you're right. I know. I stand corrected. See, at least I admit when I'm wrong. Yeah, this is true. What, are you saying I don't? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. You just double down on it. It's called a defence mechanism, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're, yeah, we're, we're back to where we were. Straight on, is this is where we started the video. Hello, everyone. This is Deja Vu, <laughs> and we're back in the Matrix. Oh, yeah, so it is, because the fucking... Yeah. Well, I'm glad one of us knows where they're going. <laughs> it's, uh, what's the word? It does, I mean... Woman's intuition. Yeah, exactly that. You're like a homing pigeon. Yeah, I'm like Speckled Jim. Who? Speckled Jim. Who um, the, Speckled uh, Jim? Speckled Jim was the... Oh, look, there's another one of those things. Speckled Jim was uh, the homing pigeon in Blackadder Goes Forth. Oh, okay. With one of my favourite ever sequences in all of Blackadder when um, he's going through the uh, uh, the trial 
and they call the general whose pigeon he just killed. And he goes, General, did you kill... No, did you have Whoa. a plump... Um, was it homing pigeon called Speckled Jim? And he's going, yes, yes, I did. Ouch. Did Captain Blackadder shoot Speckled Jim? <laughs> Yes, he did. Can you see Captain Blackadder anywhere in this room? And of course, it's Stephen Fry, and he just he leans over and he's like, "That's him. That's the man." <laughs> it's brilliant British comedy, the type oh, of which shit. we don't seem to have very much of these days. Oh Christ! Oh, I mean, that kind of worked out in my favour. Yes, nice. He's dead. Right, which way? Uh, back, yeah, back round. This is the big wheel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah, you've just literally dropped down a little bit. Yeah. Well, wasn't there? Weren't there guys chucking huge um, rocks at you? Mhm. Mm oh dear. That's why I backed off. Yeah. Because otherwise I would have just no, gone no, in. That's it. Like all swords blazing, or whatever swords do. My woman's intuition's kicking in again. We've just gone back <laughs> through the fog gate. Yeah, back past the bellows. Yeah, because there's one of them. Look, he followed me. He's oh, waiting for yeah. me now. He's well. He's he's running. He's turned away. He's like. Oh. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He's not going to get me. Get ah, me. crap. Die. Slice and dice him. Ah. Right. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. And there's an item there. Yes. Is that the, oh, because yeah, you didn't pick it up yeah. from the shiny thing. Chunk of spider storm. Wow. They see, are really strong. Yeah, we well, see those... When the rocks were coming at you, I thought it was something coming out from the ground because of the animation. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nicely done. Have a good old sprint past him. Just leave him. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, have a look to your left, because I think there's an item there. Oh, yeah, no, there's also a, a, yeah, okay, fine. a ton of these things come in. Oh. Wow. Not with it yet. Sample a bit of Arcado's finest. I don't trust these guys. They are going to... Uh... Oh, nice. They're going to try anyway. Am I just going to kite these things to more enemies? I don't know. You've got some fiery lizards. No, no, no. The aggro rangers run out for those guys, so just carry on. Excellent. I reckon these things are all going to jump down, aren't they? Yeah. They're probably hiding some tasty loot, though. Probably. Aww, they are still quite cute. Like, Hello. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a, de who's a dead boy? Play dead. We are. They dive in really like amazing ways. They just really go for it, like an eighties action flick. They do, yeah. Like the bit, like the ending of um, Revenge of the Ninja, I think, with the dude who gets the shuriken in his chest and kind of like falls away dramatically <laughs> and sort of goes. For those of you who yeah. aren't in the room, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, I would, I would highly suggest going watching the uh, the villain death from. It's either called Revenge of the Ninja or Enter the Ninja or something, but it's a terrible 80s action film that tried to capitalise on the popularity of ninjas. Features hilariously bad acting, um, all uh, kind of husky white American dudes dressed up in like sort of neon uh, ninja garb. Hey, focus on the right one, you tool. Yeah, he's not a ninja. He's a dog. They really, I still can't get over how far they jump. It's, yeah. it's not like in uh, Dark Souls where they just kind of they, have a little bit of a scam. It feels like they teleport. Yeah, yeah. Either that or the animation's a little bit janky and from it, software. It might, fix it. might be. Oh, look, we've got Ed's grindstone. Have we? Yeah. What's that going to do with it? Well, he can't do anything now because we've got it. Fuck you, Ed. Yeah. No, it's, it's one of those uh, things that we could have bought from Baldwin. Yeah. But I thought they were going to be... Um, uh, like a what, like kind of like the uh, grindstone kit that you can get in Dark Souls, where you sit at the bonfire and you can repair your weapons. Yeah, but obviously we can't do that. You probably just use them Souls. anywhere then. I think so. Yeah, like the durability powder. Yeah, more half moon grass, which is good because we need it. We're we're still in double figures. For now, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Right. There's a lot of men playing around with tools. Is he gonna try and kill him? Yeah, he's yeah, to he's him. gonna have a he's gonna have a go. He's got orange eyes as well. Oops, so shoot. A bit of back and forth with him. Yeah. Let him swing. 
Oh, he, he, he actually got me one. then. Yes, he did. Quick, quick. I was getting Larry. Oh, yeah, no, you got him. You got him. There's an item there. Oh, shit. And, uh, is there something behind you? Uh, probably. Let me take, get rid of this guy first. Oh, good. Yeah, because you can't parry these guys. Not with a not with a giant pickaxe. I think your tiny little leather shield might not be the best form of defence. No. No. Worth a try, though. Yeah. Oh, that's got a range on it. It does. Well, it's a bloody massive pickaxe. What more do you want? Right. So there is less nothing. range on it. <laughs> right. There we go. We are. We we must be rattling like a well a box of rocks. <laughs> with the amount of stuff that we've got on us. Right. right. These guys, are, yeah, they're going to block your path as well. well. At least, if I know I do uh, three heavies on them, three heavies takes them out. Mm. Well, six heavies takes them out. That so. dude, you can backstab. Oh, he's, he's got more stuff. He's got a bag of rocks. What's in his bag of rocks? Rocks. I mean, <laughs> Coming soon to QVC. The Demon's <laughs> <Bag> Souls. <of rocks. laughs> no, I was going to say the uh, the Demon Souls Crystal Collection. Enjoy for yourself the majesty One, and wonder two, of these fucking giant dead shards. Mate. Oh, turn a handle. Ah, oh, look at this. More automations. Excelente, as they say on the continent. Yep, and uh, look out that big wheels turning, as they say in. Paraguay. Oh, so we stopped that one. Is that what they say in Paraguay, is it? Yes, because I've just made it up. It's a real fact, what you just made up. It is. There's no I... scientific evidence, but it is scientific fact. I tried to edit. Look, we're calling the wa we're calling the hot bit down. We can walk on it now. Oh, yeah. So, you remember a few episodes ago, I made up that fact about Wyverns <laughs> and then said I was going to edit the Wikipedia page. Yes. I tried. Yep. But, um... Because I'm using a VPN, it blocks me. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, then it wouldn't... you were foiled. We just just roll off because that's where we need to be. Because that's the hot it, the hot area is down there. That... Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I think one of the best Wikipedia edits I've ever seen was. Um, uh, do you remember there was that whole? Um, it was a few years I say ago. I know, but I've gone the wrong way. Oh, oh. It's up in. I know. Yeah, yeah it's up now, there to was, the right. There was. What was it? There was. Um, there was a, a fiasco um, involving Glenn Danzig, where like he squared up to this like kind of skinny fan backstage, and the guy belted him one knocked and him uh, knocked him out. Um, somebody edited the Glenn Danzig page, where um, I think the opening line was something uh, something along the lines of um, hey, Glenn Danzig grew up. Um, Working in a comic book store and lifting weights, but it turns out he was a no-talent scrub who got owned by a fan or something, <laughs> like, something like that. Obviously, that uh, you can't check that for clarity because it's constantly edited. Which is a shame because yeah. that's hilarious. But look at this. We're now on a, We're on a roll. We have got tons of stuff. Keep an eye out because there may very well be fiery lizards. Yeah, I've been looking around for oh, that. Oh, poison resistance. We're going to need that in, uh, not, well, not Blight Town, but um, what's it called? The area of the... Blute Toon. The area... Yeah, Blute Toon. Well, we can get rid of Cling Ring for now, because we don't need it, because we're human. True, yes. So we can take yes. that off. But we, well, there's nothing to poison us in the area, okay. though. All right. Do, well, you wanna, do you want to ruin our Tinder chances with the Ring of Gash resistance? I don't know, because he is quite lonely, and he's been swiping... Which direction is it, left or right? Yeah, you're going the right way because uh, we're on the other side now, I think. Not on Tinder. You swipe right, don't you, for yes? Oh, uh, I think so. I haven't used it for years, so fuck knows. I tried it once, um, and uh, yeah. Last I... time I used Tinder, it was free, so... What, they charge you now? Apparently. It's basically mobile phone prostitution. Is it? Well, yeah, because you, you well, you're effectively paying for a service that gets you hooked up. Right, you're paying for a subscription. You're not paying the the women. That makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's no different than say it's like an ele electronic brothel. Well, no, because apparently dating websites you've got to pay for as well. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that from the days of uh, there's a dude with fire. Yep. I remember that from the days of... Do you remember when Bizarre Magazine launched yes. their own data? What was it called? Bizarre Beauties or something like that? I just remember Bizarre Magazine. Yeah. I miss it very much. 
it used to be good, and then they turned about three quarters of the magazine into just porn adverts. Yeah, and uh, that's kind of when I gave up. But I do still remember the there was one article that really stuck with me, and it was the dude who lived in America who fucks his dog. What? Yeah, yeah, some kind of portly Mexican-looking dude who had a a, a terrier dog that um, he regularly screwed. And I just remember the 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 interviewer's description of it, where um, the guy like tries to stick his tongue down the dog's throat, and he's like, uh, the exact words are something like, um, "It's like a car crash. I can't look. I, um, I can't look away, even though I'm utterly disgusted." <laughs> I'm glad that these things are actually really easy to kill. Yeah, yeah, they will get really, really annoying um, later on when we go back to Boletari in Paris because in... they're um, Boletari in Paris. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because they're uh, they're on like um, walkways where you can't avoid their fire blasts. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, and I think there's a big dragon in the distance at one point. Excellent. Yeah, lots to look forward to. Yeah. I've got some bad news, mate. It's the end of the episode, isn't it? The dragon's it? your problem. <laughs> this looks like a good place as any to leave it for today. So thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Yes. Mm -hmm.